Hello, everyone. My name is Oksana. It's Road to Edwards, weekly Edwards Insider, the 23rd. We deliver the news about the creation of our project Edwards. And as usual, Tokugawa-san, could you please uh, start the session? Yes. Uh, thank you, Oksana. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Hiro Tokugawa. Uh, now, uh, the last session on the uh, public baths Ohuro in Edo. Uh, now, uh, well, about three topics. Uh, one was that one is that uh, you see the bath houses had a second floor uh, for the men's bath, and so the uh, the uh, so men after taking a bath and having warmed their bodies would go upstairs, and then they would uh, and that is where they would socialize in the daytime. Uh, there was shogi, uh, there's Japanese chess, and then there's weiji. Uh, where you uh, have these black and white stones uh, on a board, and then they would, talk, and then uh, there probably were uh, books as well. So, and uh, and especially after uh, it, became, it became like a boom amongst Edo citizens to uh, learn various arts. Uh, yes, it was a very cultivated city, uh, and then that's where people would exchange information. So the bathhouses were important in that respect as well, and uh, this is probably very similar to the uh, bath culture in, in, in ancient Rome, of all places. And this is one, and two is that on the uh, at the same time, many of the public bathhouses were mixed of mix for mixed use. Uh, there's no, so men and women would bathe together. And so the uh, shogun would uh, issue decrees forbidding this again and again, uh, meaning that this was a custom that would never go away. Uh, now, this is very strange in uh, today's sensibility. Uh, of course, uh, some people would think it's nice, but some people will be just terrified by that. So, what, so uh, I'm trying to understand what was the thinking uh, or the sensibility behind all of this. But and then uh, for low-income women, uh, like a part-time prostitution was quite a normal thing back then. So uh, maybe they were trying to catch a client there while uh, when <laughs> and and you're taking a hot bath and uh, your judgment get tends to be clouded, you know. Uh, and three is that, uh, you see, uh, the medical effects of, uh, of baths were uh, well well understood. Uh, of course, if you take a hot bath uh, and stay there long, then your blood circulation improves. And uh, before modern medicine, uh, blood circulation was practically everything for your health. Uh, like, uh, you see, the uh, Tokugawa Japan uh, spent most of its uh, trade surplus for importing ginseng from Korea and China. But the main effect of ginseng is to imp improve your blood circulation. You're, you know, you take a drink, ginseng drink, and your body temperature, you can feel your body getting warmer. Uh, so uh, the same with public baths. And then uh, they had herbal baths too. Uh, so uh, well, mixing with the citrus uh, for ordinary, for uh, commoners, it was like a citrus or a... Uh, Yes, or pine leaves and so on and so forth. But, and this was like 50% more expensive than the ordinary bathhouses. Uh, but they did not change the hot water for like 10 days. So, so I'm not very sure about the net, net effects on your health. Uh, and so each time uh, the bathhouse announces a new herbal bath, then it would get so crowded there. Uh, and also, uh, many uh, inhabitants of Edo were suffering from skin disease, but they would come in, take a bath, take an herbal bath anyway. So, so <laughs> it's, it's very hard to understand what they were actually trying to do. But it was a custom, and they kept going to baths. Uh, and towards the end of Tokugawa times, uh, for whatever reason, the price of the public baths uh, kept going up, but people kept coming. Uh, so, and that's why. And uh, one of the best known works of literature from uh, Tokugawa Japan is called Ukiyoburo. So, uh, well, this is like uh, seeing see, seeing human society through the lens of the uh, bathhouse. Uh, so, so, and it is almost yes synonymous when people talk about Edo culture. Most people in Japan uh, raise well would enumerate the public bathhouses as one of its its chief aspects. Okay, and I think that would be enough for today. So thank you, Oksana. Uh, thank you very much, Tokugawa-san. And uh, uh, next, Ken, could you please continue? 
Thank you, Oksana. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'd like to update something uh, because we are trying to organize uh, the items we have to proceed uh, to complete this ecosystem and complete this uh, Edoverse. Uh, so uh, we define four items uh, which we have to proceed. One is uh, expand the ecosystem. And then two is uh, increase the value of land's NFT. And three, of course, enhance the technology. And then four, we have to uh, implement Gamify. And then, of course, those four items has uh, you know, many tiny and small and middle and big items we have to do. So what, we have, uh, what I want to say is we have to do a lot of things uh, to you know, uh, maximize the value of this ecosystem and maximize the value of this Koban and Zeni and maximize the value of land NFT. And of, I think um, uh, some of you guys are still waiting for uh, you know, who is uh, ambassador, who is, uh, you know, partner, blah, 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 something like that. Just give me a few days. Just, just give me a few days. So maybe we can announce that some great news to you guys. So just give me a few seconds. And then uh, we also are about to tell you how to use uh, the Lanz NFT because you, some of you always already bought the Lanz NFT, right? It just shows some pictures. And then, of course, it can be shown on OpenSea or your wallet. But we are going to give you some instruction how to use this Lanz NFT to get new fee, to get new kind of, uh, you know, merchandise fee and then advertising, something like that. So we are, we are now trying to organize all of the ecosystems, which is not, you know, uh, which is a quite new one uh, so far. And uh, our challenge is to, uh, you know, integrate this eight of us with uh, Gamify is uh, quite challenging for us because you know gaming function is not defined yet, but token ecosystem is already defined yet, defined already defined here. So uh, we have to combine what what we can do and what we should do, uh, followed by Tokugawa Sansi instruction. So you know Mr. Tokugawa has you know great idea of you know gaming space, and we have to realize you know his ideas and then token ecosystem and so on and so on. So. Uh, we are trying to do our best anyway, and then uh, I hope we can put some, uh, you know, public paths, public paths in eight of us to get together, you know, even men and women uh, mix. I, ho I hope to see that, you know, dreaming space. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, wonderful idea. <laughs> thank you again. Thank also, you. Uh, next, Dominique, uh, could you please uh, join us? Yeah, thank you, Sana. I'm really wondering uh, how we can take a bath in a, in a metaverse. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I I expect everything can be can be possible, um, but many things have to be developed um, from now. But you know, it must be very exciting anyway. <laughs> but uh, the customer the taking baths and adults is also very special and different from the from the other other region. Um, yeah, we, we didn't want to just do something just to specify just a custom, the, the past, the ancient custom, no, old custom. Um, anyway, um, we are now, um, last week, you know, um, uh, we, ha we had actually had a lot of discussions about the future and then also, and a, um, and very near futures and the long-term futures. And near future thinks that, that we're going to hold a, uh, 8th of um, August, it's a monthly insiders. And we're going to just call it um, a Hot Summer Camp 2022 Giveaway Festival. So Giveaway Festival means that um, we still just hold uh, 90 Daimyo Koji areas, lands, NFT giveaway. Um, just a location that we have 90 lands. So uh, we have to just uh, uh, announce, uh, we will just announce very soon that and how we can allocate but also uh, the last week, what we did is that the white rest uh, people just in USDC transactions, there was a two percent discount to um, uh, when when they want to just uh, when they just um, got um, when they just uh, contributed to the communities, and then um, we have uh, some rest just to discount two percent uh, uh, to buy the land NFT. Um, we uh, paid back the last week uh, to a whole uh, the white list uh, uh, members. Um, so please confirm. But uh, uh, this time, that uh, 8th of August, we have uh, 25 
brand NFTs to uh, NFT brand owners by lottery. And also uh, 20 land uh, NFTs to the Zeni holders. So, um, and, and then um, if you're lucky, uh, 45 land NFTs to the contributors in the official communities, like I said, Discord and Telegrams. So um, somebody can get 90 land NFTs on the 8th of August. And, and also, uh, we are now planning a really big prize to everybody who hold uh, uh, land NFTs. We might have some giveaway in a, uh, airdrops, uh, or maybe have a chance um, uh, uh, of uh, Zenis tokens because some of the land this time that land owner didn't have any uh, Zeni yet, so um, it was already just uh, sold out on seventh uh, of July. That we, 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 there was uh, only fifty thousand US dollars worth uh, of uh, Zeni was uh, the sold out just in a very short time. So um, this time uh, we want to uh, drop a really, uh, uh, I don't know yet I don't know how much we should just uh, do it, but it's not a big number, but at least that, you know, uh, the, the the people just who hold a land NFT must have Zenis. So that Zeni, uh, you can just buy in the future. Yeah, you can buy the NFT, uh, the, it, just the different kind of NFT, like a two NFTs or maybe uh, NFT art in Edubus. So um, I hope that people can enjoy this giveaway festival. Um, and then um, I want to just uh, keep this community uh, and also much bigger. And at the same time, in the 8th of August, we're going to hold a Zeni uh, Talk and the Mixed Talk sessions. Uh, we have to really uh, understand what's going to happen in the Zeni ecosystem in the futures. Um, it's going to be a, it's a little different from the, the existing capitalism uh, structure. So um, I hope that it's going to be much more efficient than the current system. And then uh, uh, our uh, Zeni uh, economy can be uh, just utilized by everybody in the world in the futures. And then they can just, uh, people can enjoy the air bus. So, um, um, and also, as get mentioned, uh, we, uh, we're going to appoint uh, ambassadors and also uh, maybe some kind of very uh, influenced people that are the who can just, we can just uh, talk about it of us. So, um, um, our activities in August, even in really hot summer, uh, of course, we're very hot. <laughs> um, we, 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 we will just uh, try to just expand this community just uh, to the world uh, on a global basis. So. Uh, uh, but you know, of course, every, everything is one by one, step by step. Um, um, I hope that people can just what people keep watching it and then stay tuned. Thank you. And thank you very much, Dominique, and thank you everybody for talking uh, today and uh, everybody for listening. So I will uh, uh, meet you next week. Bye bye.